Welcome back, League Niners. We're back today with a new one, new special one. We actually got a BP with a conference pro. So yeah. we are today here with <laughs> Bay Area Legends' own Brandon Trailer. He's going to be showing us what he's going to do, how he's going to do it. He's going to show you how to do it and maybe get a little better at your game. So uh, real quick, I want to thank Stacy at ASP for helping us out. Thanks San Francisco Baseball Academy for sponsoring us as well. But let's get to it. Let's go. All right, so for all of you that don't know, Brandon Trailer, as Cam said, Bay Area Legends, he is a nine-year conference vet. Um, nine years playing high-level ball, man. So what, what's kept you in the game so long? Uh, shoot, this being goofy, staying, <laughs> staying humble is the main thing, y'all. Like, uh, if you were to get to the next level, staying humble is the main thing. Um, and being yourself, because yourself is what you got, what got you there, you know? And yeah, that's literally what kept me in the game. Like the hitting, I mean, that comes with it, the fielding, everything, you know, but just being yourself is what keeps you in the game. Cause I know a lot of guys who've uh, fallen off, you know, and sure. who's been up there one year, two year, and just straight, just trickled out. You know, I don't even know their names anymore, basically. <laughs> so. A little bit more about Brandon. So Bay Area Legends here are based in the uh, Bay Area of California. They are a double A team competing in Conference UHA major events. Uh, Brandon here is sponsored by Suncoast. Suncoast. So we'll be swinging Suncoast today for this video of a uh, batting practice with a conference pro. Anybody who is in the market for a Suncoast, give Brandon a shout out. Uh, you want to yeah. drop your uh, social media handles? Yeah, hey, hit me up, Brandon Trailer. Add me on Facebook or HTBBoy07 on Instagram. And yeah, just we'll have all up, that in the, in the uh, description of the video. A uh, couple stats. I know, like you said, stay humble, but. This guy's played in a handful of events this year. He's already got 28 home runs. OBP right around 700, so it's about 100 points higher than that baseline 600 that you're going for. So if you're gonna learn anything, this is a good guy to learn from. Yeah, and uh, he's gonna walk us through what he does in a batting practice to keep his game sharp, to get on base 700 plus. Yeah. Let's get it. Let's do it. All right, trailer. So we're out here at the uh, Google Fields mm -hmm. taking a uh, batting practice so walk us through kind of what your plan is as you get out here on the field and take some hacks uh so honestly when i first come out or just come out to bp in general and we hit bp a lot a lot guys like bp is your friend <laughs> trust me um the main thing to work on is what you don't work on in the games or you know like so me i go up we'll go three four hole first whether it's in the three four hole or even in the outfield and then we'll go one four hole. You know, that's basically the first two sets of the round, you know, and we alternate, whatever. And then you end it with one six, five six. But like right now, we're gonna start off with the three four hole, show you guys a little something and go from there. Right. Any, uh, any tips for those lower level players that are just kind of starting to figure it out? Hit your pitch. That's mainly <laughs> the, the main tip in softball is hit your pitch, y'all. Everyone has a pitch and you should know what it is. BP is where you get to know where it is, you know? So yeah, if you if you feel comfortable going backside on the inside, you know, you're an inside out hitter, hey, hit the inside pitch backside and you can go from there. One thing too that's uh, important to mention is this this man just loves the game. Uh, Cam and I will tell you, he umps a lot of the tournaments that we play in. A lot of the tournaments. <laughs> we were talking before we started shooting and he said one of the most important things is understand the zone, mm -hmm. right? Swing at strikes, I think we can beat that one into the ground and still say it more after that. Swing at strikes. Yes. Know the zone. You'll be a better hitter just simply by swinging at strikes. And what happens when you walk? You, hey, you get on you base. You get on base. And you, that's, <laughs> walking helps your team out. And, that, and honestly, walking helps you get to the next level because that's basically hitting your pitch. You know, if it's not your pitch and you take it, it's most likely a ball. So, yeah, hey, walks are good, y'all. Walks are your <laughs> friends, please. Trust the trust the walks. If you're playing league and stuff, don't walk. I mean, have fun in league. But if you're playing in a tournament, whether it's ED, whatever level it is, walks are really good, y'all. I know if you paid to play, you don't want to walk, but it helps your team in the long run. Trust me. I I've walked a lot of times. Like <laughs> the main person who told me the the best person, and we started in the conference together. Flip Washington. I know hey. y'all heard of his name. We were roommates, 2014, Classic Glass. And Flip takes a lot of walks because he knows his pitch, he knows his zone. And guess what, Look, he's one of the best players ever in slow pitch softball. So 
walks help them do that. All right, let's have some fun. Yeah. Let us know why you do the tap to start. Uh, honestly, um, it's basically a warm up to see if your pitch is good, good enough, like <laughs> to throw BP to you. And hey, <laughs> that's why I do it. I don't know why other people do it, honestly. <laughs> but it's like a, it's a routine. We'll say tapping is a routine. Yep. Middle War. That would have been a good hit. One thing I noticed during that round. Yes. Again, because I played with a lot of guys that are not conference players. <laughs> and so you get a ball that was like chopped down, maybe halfway through the infield, hard ground ball, and you're like, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Tell us why you like that. Why should we be doing that at the lower levels? Uh, because most of the time, that's through, I yeah. should say. Yeah. It is a hit, y'all. Like, I know every, all of us want to hit the line drive straight to the fence, but the little dribblers are, you know, I say mid yeah, line yeah, yeah. drives are hits yeah. in the one six hole, especially when the five man's playing on the one four side. Pitchers ain't getting it, shortstop ain't getting it, five man ain't getting it. <laughs> yep. So that's why I'm like, get so juicy. Oh yeah, that's no, a I, hit. It's perfect. I, <laughs> I agree with you. I just know a lot of guys hit that in BP and they're like, ah, oh, what was I doing? <laughs> and then I also saw one you were like, oh, I missed. And uh -huh. it, I mean, it still traveled 325, mm. but. <laughs> That's not what you're trying to do that's in BP, right? That's not what I was right? trying to do in BP. No, right, no. right. There's a round for that. That's the end of the round is, you know, the home run round, basically. Yeah. <laughs> or swing out your ass round, I yeah. should say. So you're just trying to keep it low, line drives through, base it, base it, base it, base, base it. Base it, yep. Perfect. Same way, and that's every hole we go to, yeah. you know? And you could kind of, like, I mean, people would put cones and stuff out, but you could kind of visualize the field, if you've been playing for a while, where the guys are going to be, so. Most of the time, that's a hit, and yeah, yeah, we get juiced about those. Good. That's I was gonna say. I just want I wanted to point that out because I noticed it immediately, and I know a lot of guys that have been upset about that grounder uh -huh. and have been super excited about that fly ball. So I want to make sure we all knew why you're doing it. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. And you'll see all the big guys do that stuff, like just straight through the hole, and they're like, okay, good, 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 good. It's like if you got that one, then the rest will do its work. The rest will do its work. Yeah. Okay. Cool.
Oh, dang, that thing right now, boy. Luckily, we get two strikes, y'all. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> oh, no. And then you do that with the second strike. I notice you're way up at the front of the box right now. Is that your normal or is that because you're trying to That's get my normal. Straight? That's your normal. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to, I want to make sure we all knew. That's, so, for people who don't know, as long as you don't cross this, you're good. So, a lot of the conference guys stand right up, get right up as close as they can. And that's how you know they want the, they want the ball to be closer, basically. Yeah. So. Gotcha. No, right to him. <laughs> the suction down. Oh, got it. Yep. Barely. Yeah, he said every time. Every time, y'all. Ain't nobody that tall. Hey, we want to give another big shout out to Brandon Trailer for helping us out with this video. Again, conference pro, great dude, awesome to hang out with, really great at teaching us how to do some things. So uh, definitely check him out on social media. We're going to have it down here in the description. But again, as always, please like, subscribe, ring the bell, check us out. We really appreciate you watching this video and we will see you guys next time.